Lisa Loeb, and welcome to my kitchen. This is one of my favorite things. It's my toaster oven, because sometimes you don't need the full big oven to cook when you're just one person at home, or even two people at home. I like to roast vegetables, and you use a very, very hot oven when you roast vegetables. And uh, the glue kind of melted, and the handle kind of fell off, so i got to get that repaired. Also, of course, the Hello Kitty toaster for, for just uh, toasted bread. You'll notice that most of the appliances are not plugged in. I heard somewhere that if you don't plug in your appliances, you use less energy. So I think that's a good idea. And it prints Hello Kitty on the toast. Pretty cool. This is one of my favorite things in the kitchen. It's just a little tiny filter holder. And I travel with these, which is why it's cracked, this one. You just take a filter, put it in there. I like Pete's. But you put a little few scoops of coffee in there, and you just pour boiling water in, which you can get in most places, and you make much stronger coffee at home or on the road. I also have a lovely and scary squirrel that I got when I was at a craft fair, and this is something that I picked out for myself. Lovely, right? And here is one of my favorite things. Um, it's my collection of coffee mugs. I love coffee, and all of these are from different places. Like, I got this one in Ireland. I got this one in Scotland when I was there. A lot of mugs from Japan, one of my favorite mugs. Although I don't drink a lot of loose tea, this is a special Hello Kitty tea mug. You fill this thing with tea, and then you put it in the cup. Fill it with hot water, and then you can put this on top. So cute. One of my favorite things is this grater. You can use this to uh, grind nutmeg. I use it a lot for cheese, for Parmesan, often grating Parmesan on top of asparagus with no salt, no pepper, no oil, nothing, and stick it in the oven, the toaster oven, and I make it delicious. It's, it gets very crisp and bubbly on top of the asparagus, the Parmesan cheese, but this is one of my favorite things. I think you can also use it on chocolate, but I don't do that much. One thing I have to say, though, one of my favorite things that I used to do is to bake. In fact, I got this, um, mixer. I call it a mix master because that's what we called it growing up in Texas. I got this as a gift, but I started baking so much that I couldn't stop eating it. So I tried to take a little break from baking, but in the meantime I have all my baking things up here, including a whole container with food dyes, cookie cutters, sifters, swivelly things that you can put the cake on and frost, and all this uh, pink bakeware. Look at this. This is a Lucite cookbook holder that I made, I think, in seventh grade in Dallas, Texas, where Lucite's a very big business. And um, you can actually use it. My mother was selling uh, my family house, and I went home and took this. Oh, do you know what I also love? These cutting boards. I get the chills when I touch unfinished wood, and there are a lot of cutting boards made out of wood. I think it's easier to clean plastic, but these are great because they have rubber handles, so they don't move. They're much more secure than other cutting boards, and I have them in all shapes and sizes.